Hi and welcome to WEH videos. My name is Skip and in this little video I want to show you a program that I wrote that will help you determine when to start your descent. A lot of folks are having trouble determining at what point or how far from my waypoint do I need to start a descent. And so this program will do all those calculations for you. It takes into consideration altitude and how that affects your true airspeed. It also takes into consideration wind direction and speed. The idea here is to calculate a pretty accurate ground speed because it's the ground speed we need to know to determine the point where we start our descent or the TOD. Alright, so let's take a look at this program called Start Descent. Now, I will place a link in the description below on this video where you can go and download this program from xplane.org. And I hope you will download this app and please, please let me know how it works for you. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to get a weather report. And we can do that from ATIS for the winds and we can set our comm radio to the ATIS for KRDD or for Reading or we can use the X-Plane map and here we're going to use the X-Plane map so let's get the map up and we click on the airport we are going to so we are flying to KRDD Reading and here we have the RDD VOR that we're using we are down here heading towards Reading and now we're at the airport here we click on detail and we find the winds are 180 at 15 alright let's go enter this information and I've already done that to save time here we have our heading 346 our wind direction the wind speed our indicated airspeed and we're at 10,000 feet and we want to descend to 5,000 and we want to descend at a rate of 2,500 the program is calculated we should start a descent at 10.49 miles with our vertical speed that we got to choose so let's see how it works we are 12 miles let me pause the video here we're 12 miles out and we are going to start our descent at 11 miles so we're 10,000 feet heading 346 and we want to get down to 5,000 feet. This is only going to go 5,009 feet. That's okay. At 2,000 feet per minute. So in just a little less than a mile or so, we are going to start our descent. All right. Here we go. All right. 12.2. eleven point three let's hit the vertical speed button right at eleven point well right at eleven miles so let's just see what happens I'll bring the map in and we can watch as we cross over the RDD VOR so here is the VOR and let's just see what our little program says it's going to take just about two minutes for us to get there. Let's put this over here. Our descent right here says 2010. So we're going a little faster than indicated here. But that's all right. Again, this is just an estimate. You need to recheck this as you go down. So what we might want to do is put, say, 7,500 in here and this is telling us at 7,500 feet we should be about five miles and look at that 7,000 feet and we're just about five miles out so we're looking pretty good and here we come here's the Reading RDD VOR we're at 7,400 feet and we have 4.4 miles to go now remember when you're using a VOR, a VOR for your DME or you're using a VOR DME, you must account for altitude. So we're going to cross over this VOR at 5,000 feet. 
that's roughly a mile. So when we get over it, our DME is going to indicate roughly one mile. Now remember, we started a little early because we don't want to get here late. These are things you kind of want to take into account as you're working with this. So we got 1.7 miles, so we're 7 tenths of a mile from being over the top of the VOR. 5,900 feet. Here's the VOR right here. 700, 600, and let's just pause it right here. And we just crossed over the VOR at 5,400 feet. So we should have started a little earlier. Probably a better idea to start five miles from our calculated top of descent point. Because the Aedes winds are at the airport and we started our descent 11 miles out, the winds could be much different there and the winds aloft could be totally different. All this affects our descent rate and when we arrive. Another reason we arrived early was even though I selected 2,000 feet per minute as a descent rate, we actually descended at 2,010 feet. And we only got there 400 feet early. Not too bad. So we need to allow for the unknown. So that's it. Download the little program, give it a try, and please let me know how it works for you. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this, please click the like button. If you want to leave a comment or send me a message, that would be great. Thanks again for watching, and God bless.